Speaking of incredibly rich people we like to watch and don't know why, Donald Trump. <laughs> Marco Rubio has been going hard after Donald Trump, even making fun of Donald's small hands. <laughs> and here's the thing, I didn't have a show on Friday, so it's been four days since Trump made his response in the debate. But I don't care, because this is what I do for a living, and there is no way in hell I'm gonna let an entire election go by without talking about this. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. He guarantees. He guarantees you, if elected, he'll make sure the Republicans are the party. <laughs> He'll make sure the Republicans are the party of the big tent. <laughs> and I'm sure, and I'm sure it's true. Why would a guy with a small penis put his name in giant letters on the top of a skyscraper? <laughs> it's gotta mean something, right? It's gotta mean something. I mean, it's right there across the top horizontally. At least he didn't put his name 10 stories high vertically. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, no! That is different. That is different. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. That is different. But, Donald, the issue is out there now, and the people have the right to know the size of your executive branch. So I'm calling on you to release the long form. Or the short form, no judgment. <laughs> but all kidding aside, I am not putting any kidding aside. <laughs> this man is talking about the size of his schwanz in a presidential debate. This is someone who could have his finger on the button, and God, I hope it's his finger. <laughs> We don't know. We don't know if it could reach the button. We have no idea. The Russians could launch and he could be trying to reach the button. <laughs> this is even worse than the Lincoln-Douglas debate when Abraham Lincoln famously said, no American, whether they be from North or South, free or slave, has ever complained about the size of my Lincoln log. <laughs> and yes, the beard matches the traits. <laughs> I have to make I can't believe that these are absolutely legitimate jokes to be making about a presidential debate right now. <laughs> now, for those of you who've been following American democracy for the last 240 years, we have officially hit a new low in political discourse. So let's go to the chart, okay? Yes, we have sunk below Swift Boat, below Secret Muslim, <laughs> below John McCain's illegitimate baby, and oh, we have shattered through the bottom of the chart, and it is burrowing through the earth below the Ed Sullivan Theater, past the subway lines. It is now burrowing past Hillary Clinton's secret email servers. It is burrowing past the Founding Fathers spinning in their graves. And all the way down past the dinosaurs to the center of the earth. There it is, stopping at presidential penis measuring contest. Though not quite the lowest rung, we still haven't hit onstage nut punch followed by closing statement delivered via one long burp. <laughs> but it's only March. <laughs>